Greetings and salutations, friends. So, today a little package arrived and I thought we'd unbox it. I was off today and my EDC or actual carry, call it what you like, is very simple. It consists of my Riyadh XO, pair of dice, my uh, deck of cards, and today it's the Theory 11 Monarchs, and my wallet, with uh, coin today being a uh, septum from the Elder Scrolls. There we go. Let me get a peek of the coin. Not too fancy, but I like it. It makes me happy. And of course, my little brass Kiridashi and my wallet. Uh, Lancelot leather wallet. Amazing wallet. Fantastic. I love this wallet. Marcos, my brother, was asking about this little brass Kiridashi. And this fantastic little blade I picked up in, oh, I don't know. I want to say 2015. Somewhere around there, 2014 maybe. It's just a little Japanese brass kiridashi. It was really inexpensive. I like it for getting through tape and stuff. Because the blade cleans up real easy. Real, real easy. It's lasted really well. You're sharpening, it's a breeze. It's a very low maintenance tool. I like it. But yeah, you should be able to... Grab one of these little guys on uh, Amazon for well under 10 bucks. Well under 10 bucks. There will be a video on the XO coming sometime soon. Probably. I don't know yet. Probably. Maybe next week. But uh, be on the lookout for that. Should be fun. And here's going to be a quick look at these uh, monarchs by theory 11 green monarchs they are fantastic they are a great feeling deck of cards printed by the united states playing card company same guys that make uh, your basic bicycle and b cards here's the card backs and here's your jokers Here's your ad cards, and there's the Ace of Spades. Look at night, y'all, nice and pretty. Let's see if we can get that in frame. Good. There you have standard cords, the little different inks on them, and they're very legible, very good feeling, and very used deck. Very used deck. I think I've cleaned this deck probably a half a dozen times. Yeah, just, I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. It's a good deck. On to the unboxing. And my little brass Kiridashi is going to hop out to help us this time. As usual. Pretty much what I have it for is opening uh, bags, boxes, things like that. says here this says well it should say pocket samurai slip joint let's get this plastic off there we are plastics <laughs> rather pocket samurai slip joint edition aircraft grade aluminum 440c stainless steel and uh, caution this blade is extremely sharp Stat gear tools. Let's see what we got inside here. I like the little packaging. Packaging's fun. Packaging is nice. 
here is the little blade. Oh, that is fun. I got the red version. And it's a, it's a nice little tanto. I like the size. It's probably going to be about as useful to me as a, uh, you know, doorstop or something, but I'm probably not going to carry it, but it's fun. It's fun. Get this little blade wiped off. Got cleaned off. There's a little bit of a ding here, which, yeah, whatever. No big deal. No big deal. Hmm. The stop on that is strange. It's here instead of a half stop. That's okay. Still is curious. I think I like it. Is it sharp? I don't know. I don't really don't know if it's sharp. I'm going to have to get some paper and see. Catalog paper to the rescue. Let's see. Are you sharp? Hmm, you are sharp. It is acceptably sharp. Whoever said that cutting paper on camera was easy? Nah, it's not easy. You can fail that. I just did. It's a thin blade. Thin blade stuck, which is nice. Appreciate that. Actually, the grind was a little bit thinner here. It was thick a little bit earlier than I'd like it to for a small slip joint. Other than that, I like what I see. I do like what I see. I think maybe it'll stick on a keychain or maybe become a gift at some point. I don't know yet. We'll figure it out think about it, but that's my first impression. My first impression is, um, <laughs> honestly, first impression is not for me, but it's not bad either. Hey friends, so it occurred to me that I was unfair as I was <laughs> editing this thing. I thought, you know what I did not do? I did not include any real size, and this knife is small. This little pocket samurai is, is small. So, we'll put it next to some everyday items, and you can judge its size and how it's going to be effective for you. But first, I guess we should get a weight. So, let's do that. Turn on. Come on. There we go. On it goes. Wakes up. It is 0.9 ounces. Twenty five grams, it says. Okay, it says it twice. So the thing is twenty five grams, point nine ounces. So under an ounce, that's good. Relax that. 
So here it is next to a plastic lizard. You can plainly see the size there. Would the lizard kick its ass? Yes. Yes, the lizard would kick its ass. The lizard is stronger than the knife. There it is next to a little tiny little mallet. Is the ma mallet more impressive? Yes. Yes. The mallet could improve this little knife. Here it is next to a gummy frog. Here you go. As you can see, it is clearly delicious. The gummy frog. The knife, maybe not so much. There it is. Next to... There we go. Your falcon even sharpening stone. There you have it. It's not very large. Not the stone, nor the knife. And uh, here it is next to a kitty whisker. It's kind of a curly kitty whisker, but there it is next to a kitty whisker. So we can judge it against the kitty whisker, and most people know what a kitty whisker, how big that is. And here it is next to a marshmallow. So as we can see, it's next to a marshmallow. We're not talking about a very large blade here. It is about a marshmallow long. Can it attack the marshmallow and win? The, tr the true test of any pocket samurai battling marshmallows, can it win? And the answer is a little bit, barely. Yeah, this is one of those filled marshmallows. Fantastic. I mean, really tasty. It helps when you use the blade that's got the edge on it. Edge side down. There we go. More of a tear or anything, but... Uh, yeah. I think now we have an idea of how big this blade is. Just uh, many various objects and items oh here we go here it is against a tea bag and one more thing here it is against a sea snake there you go so i think we can all see that this little knife here is very small covered in bits of marshmallow and nonetheless still tremendous